1891, White River Badlands, Nebraska. Paleontologist Edwin Barber is investigating a strange corkscrew-shaped rock formation. He'd been called by a local rancher who'd stumble upon it and was puzzled. But now, looking at the almost seven foot tall structure, Barber was equally as puzzled. Mm. Upon further inspection, he still wasn't sure, but hypothesized the land around it had once been a prehistoric lake and the corkscrew was the remains of some kind of extinct freshwater sponge. Perhaps because of the association of fossils with Satan, or just because it sounded cool, he called it Demon Neelix, or Demon's Corkscrew. But he was wrong. A few years later, he realized other fossils in the area didn't support it being a historic lake. So this time, he decided the Devil's Corkscrew was some kind of fossilized root system of a tree. Until two more paleontologists came along. No, not these guys. I just needed a picture of two paleontologists. Independently, Edward Drinker Cope and Theodore Fuchs noticed a horizontal compartment at the bottom of the corkscrew and the bones of a prehistoric creature inside it. As a result, they concluded that the rock formation wasn't itself an organism, but the burrow of that animal, filled in with sand and silt. And that unidentified creature? Well, turns out it was a prehistoric beaver. They eventually called Paleocaster, which literally means prehistoric beaver. So, have any odd fossils in your area? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's YouTube channel for more Strange Heartland history. I'm Christopher Pilney.